With my new controller, the DDCS, it is possible to probe and see or zero out the X, Y and Z axis almost by automatic. You just need a tool for that. And when I checked them up, I think they were around 70 euros. So, well, I didn't want to pay that. And I had some scrap copper plate. I had some PLA and I have a 3D printer. So it was easy for me to go to the drawing board and construct a plate. And uh, that plate came out like this. And it's not real, it's maybe not pretty, but it's very functional. And I will show you how it works with the DDCS version 3.1. So let's first go to the controller and how we set up the controller for this zeroing probing out on all three axes. So to go to the menu where we do the changes for the probing, you push the page R button twice and you are in the setup menu. Here to the left, you need to find a line number which should be around 68, I guess. Let me see what we can find. Is that any? Ah, 68 is just there. That's nice. So I scroll a little bit longer down. And here you see the mode functions, and I use mode number two, because in mode number two, and you make it ready to probe, you can push the shift key and the set plus key, and it will probe the, the set, the X and the Y, it wants. So, and you are ready to run, and your tool is at right height, and the X and the Y is uh, on the center of the of your work. And if you need to change the tool, you push the shift and uh, the probe, and uh, after you have been changing the tool, you push the same, the probe again, the A minus, and it will only probe on the set axis. So it will not go the whole procedure again. That it does with, with mode number two. Uh, mode number one, I think it's only probing on set. Uh, mode zero is the whole process is disabled. So mode number two, it's very easy. You have uh, shift probe, this one for only probing the set, shift probe probe for do uh, probing of set X and Y. So down here, is the uh, thickness of the tool sensor. Well, it didn't work as expected and uh, the manual doesn't say anything about this. Uh, there was nothing on YouTube either, so that's why I wanted to do this. But I dived into it and I figured it out, but there is no logic uh, behind it. Um, you go back to the tool setup again, which is here. And after you have made the first zero, uh, the X and uh, the Z and the Y, you do go and say shift and go to zero on the Z axis. And from there, you use your pendant or stepwise with the spindle turning on turning just a little, not a much, just go very, very slowly down and just touch the, the wood or whatever you have been uh, trying to zero out. And from there you see, you see here on, on the display then, it could say 5.6 or minus 5.6 or whatever, 5.6. Then you know you have to enter that number let me see, in here, in my case, it's a thickness of tool sensor. I thought it was uh, this tool here, but it's it's not. That is down below here because that is 10.5. Um, 
So here I found out my was 6.6 .6 and I entered that and now it's 100% accurate. Don't ask me why. I, I use mode uh, 2. The thickness of the x-axis on the plate is this direction here. And in my case it's 5.7. The same for the y. In my case again it's 5.75. Uh, Probably I could have made it 5.7. And the tool, the tool plate thickness for the set again is 10.5. This minus 20 minus 20 is when you have probed the set axis. The tool go, will go up on a, and uh, to the left 20 millimeters from the current position. Then it will go down again and it will start to probe uh, uh, to the right until it meets the the copper in my case the item the tool then it goes up back to the first current position and then it moves uh, negatively to minus 20 on the y-axis goes down five millimeters and probe into the to the probe tool again um, here is when it has made contact with the tool on the X and the Y and the set, it will back off uh, one millimeter just so we not do scratches on, on the tool sensor itself. Um, here is, here is, um, here is uh, the center of the tool plate. Uh, I don't use it because I have on, on current position. Uh, standard in the system, it says, uh, I think it's 20 units per minute or 20 millimeters per, per minute. And that is very slow. So I changed it to 120 uh, units millimeters per minute. And that's, uh, that is uh, really convenient and not too fast and not too slow. So that was it and uh, now we store all the settings by pushing the uh, page R and I'm ready to show you how it works in praxis. Now I, I'm ready to, uh, to probe all three axes and with that I push shift, probe, set plus and it starts to go down. It moves up now. 20 millimeters out, in here, up, hit the center, out, down, and probe the Y. There we go. So, right now I have 11.6 and uh, yeah, I'm ready to do my job. Let's imagine we have done the first part with, with, uh, with the first tool and we are now in a situation where we need to change the tool from 3.2 millimeters to 2 millimeters. And now we have changed that tool and you now take your, your tool sensor, right? And I have to climb it up there, be sure it's in here. I just double check that I have a connection. I have that, so that's good. So now I only need to, uh, to, uh, to probe the Z axis. There's no need for probing the uh, X and the Y axis. So by that I do like shift, probe, A minus, or the same button again. A little bit high up. So, and that's it. We have, uh, I can see on the display 11.6, so it, it's exactly the same as, as last time, so that's great. And uh, yeah, that's how you use the XY set probing on the DDCS version 3.1. Happy routing, and uh, see you soon again. Bye bye.